The biggest waste to energy, the biggest waste to energy proposal in the world in the most built up part of this magnificent city. And it is outrageous that it's even on the books that the hard working people of Western Sydney who already suffer from a degra degraded air quality could face a future where they would have two 100 metre high smokestacks pumping nitrous oxides, heavy metals, dioxins, fluorines, all kinds of volatile organic compounds into the atmosphere that are, even in the words of the proponents, even in the words of the proponents, a risk to human health. Within 800 metres, residences, 1,800 metres, schools, an area proposed for <coughs> massive urban development, a huge industrial park, and they are going to take some of the most noxious construction waste. They're going to take all kinds of uh, waste from such as things called flocks, which is the interior of cars. They're going to take 400,000 tonnes of soft and hard plastic, concrete, metal, unknown chemicals, and they're going to incinerate it at 800 degrees and pump the emissions over the people of Western Sydney. The, the plume is acknowledged to, to travel up to 30 kilometres, which means we'll be breathing it. The, 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 the silver tails in Manly and Vaucluse and the rest, you'll be copying it too. It's the biggest, most stupid idea I've ever heard in terms of energy in this state. And I tell you what, the people of Western Sydney will not cop it. This government is very, very wobbly. You only have to lose eight seats at the state election and you're out. And I tell you what, you won't get a seat in Western Sydney if you back this proposal. Absolutely no ifs, no buts a guarantee. You can kiss Mulgoa goodbye, you can kiss Penrith goodbye, you can kiss the rest of Western Sydney goodbye, because they won't cop a proposal like this, a proposal that was going to produce 400,000 tonnes of toxic ash that has to go to landfill, 50,000 tonnes of toxic residue that has to be encased in concrete and go to landfill. The EIS admits the proposed facility may release substances to atmosphere which have the potential to impact human health. Hundreds of thousands, millions of tonnes of garbage burnt to create what they call is green energy. Well, I went to the presentation out at Erskine Park the other day by the proponents and I've never seen a bigger farce in my life. They handed around a plastic bag full of plastic and said, there, look at that. That's not so bad. It's not so bad, is it? Have a look at that. That's what we're proposing to deal with. And a, a, a sensible fellow at that meeting stood up and said, well, it's not on fire, is it? And this is the key thing. The people of Western Sydney will not allow you to turn their back backyard into a massive garbage incinerator. The government should nip this in the bud now. The EIS is on display. They will have a war on their hands if they try and trash Western Sydney and trash the lungs of the people of Western Sydney with a garbage incinerator. That